out, tiger. Call me out, why don't you laugh? Hey guys! So we didn't paint our living room. If you've seen our like Vlogmas vlogs, you know what our inside of our house looks like. And it this like isn't this. this isn't a Disney World vlog, so we are at the beach! And we don't have any more footage to film or edit or anything like that. And so yeah. we were coming to the beach last minute. We literally booked it last week because we're so tired of seeing the four walls of our house. Jared started seeing the four walls of his work. work. And so yeah. um, we decided to come to the beach to celebrate our anniversary. A little bitty mini baby moon. So if you don't know already, if you didn't watch the last video, we're having a baby. We're having a baby. And I'm fitting, I'm wearing blue. He's in there. It's very like, Jared says you can see it a lot more and you pull my shirt up. But <laughs> definitely a bump there. There's definitely a bump in there. We're celebrating our baby moon anniversary, quarantine, freedom. First Mother's Day. Mother's Day. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, so we're so excited to be here. We're so excited to be over our house. We heard that like Alabama was living up their beaches and we were like, oh my gosh, we gotta we're go somewhere. Because <laughs> we live in Louisiana and if you don't know, Louisiana people got in trouble and they couldn't go to any other state because they weren't listening. So we couldn't go to Texas, we couldn't go to Arkansas, we could go to Mississippi, but I don't think we could go to, Al I don't know where we could go, but we could go to heads, Florida. We couldn't go anywhere. Still can't go to Florida, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, can't go to Florida. So here we are at Gulf Shores. We love Gulf Shores. We're very familiar with this area. We've, We've here came here a couple of times the last couple of years, so we're really familiar with a lot of the stuff here. We've and we've never been to like the southern what is Gulf this place Coast. called? The Gulf Coast beaches. They are some of the prettiest beaches I truly feel like in America. They're not necessarily Gulf Shores. Gulf Shores has the pretty white sands and everything. Destin, Pensacola, that whole area is really, really pretty. Gulf Shores is so family, so happy, and there's so much to do here, even during quarantine. Take a look for yourself. The water is really, really pretty today. Yeah. There's a lot of people here. Yeah, and if you notice, so they opened up, but you can only have groups of less than 10, and all the groups have to be six feet apart, which is why you see the chair spaced out, which is the way they are right now. To me, that's a great thing because we don't like people being like right up on us like when we're trying to chill really at the beach. I get really annoyed whenever I finally have a little tent set up. You get everything in place. And then someone's like, hi. <laughs> they're like, you want a vacation with us? Could you scoot over a little bit? <laughs> but you can't say that. Now you're like, I'm sorry, it's the law. Could you please move your tent? Like Social distancing, please. About 52 feet that way. <laughs> so the fact that everybody has to be spaced out, we were like, perfect. Yes. <laughs> it works for us. Yeah. So and we're here we are. in a new condo. We've never stayed at this resort before. And it's it very nice. Is, it was a, it's not really a resort. It's just a condo. But it's really, really nice. Uh, somebody used to live here. And Jared actually works with the lady that owns it, so yeah. we got to come, and we're so excited. And but what are you beautiful. really excited about right now, Britt? Oh my gosh! Okay, if you've been here, then you're probably like, that's so basic. But we love the shrimp basket. <laughs> um, it's just a place here, and it's just a tradition. We go to the shrimp basket, like our first place to eat every time we come to the beach. We have since the very first time we came to the beach together. It's pretty like, okay, yep. I love coconut shrimp. It's my favorite food to eat at the beach, not at the beach, anywhere in the world. It's fried coconut shrimp. And Sometimes shrimp basket has it and sometimes they don't and it, they said that they didn't have it right now because like everybody's got limited menus. Church just called. <laughs> Britt did a severe happy dance. Like happy, so, happy, happy dance. I was so excited. <laughs> so we're about to head to shrimp basket. Um, it says that it's going to be 20 minutes. But it should be ready by the time I get there. Probably. Mm, I doubt it. I think we're going <laughs> to probably be waiting for a while. But we're about to go get cooking the shrimp. But anyways. Welcome to our beach vlogs. If you've never beach vlogged with us before, they're different. They're just, they're just chill. We don't really do anything. But as much as we love Disney, we, we love, basically equally love the beach. Like if we could live at the beach or we could live at Disney, we would live beach. at the beach. Hands like down. we just love the beach so much. We vlogged our very first trip together to the beach and it was for our first year anniversary. It's on our channel. We went to Perdido Key. So much skinnier than I am now. Um, so was Jared. We were really excited. <laughs> I mean, that was five, five years ago. It was yeah. a long time ago. Because our six year anniversary will be in just a couple weeks. Yeah, so we have like a thing where we go to the beach every year for our anniversary and this year was different, but we were not giving that up. Yeah. <laughs> so we're at the beach and we're excited to Bring y'all with this. I hope that you like beach vlogs because yeah, hopefully that's why you clicked on this. I don't know. <laughs> 
All right, we just got back in the car. We got our to-go order from the shrimp basket. So we're gonna eat that real quick. I got coconut shrimp, obviously. <laughs> Jared got regular shrimp. And just in case the baby's extra hungry, we got a kid's popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. <laughs> So, ooh, we're so excited. It's chillier here than I imagined. It, it is pretty be. cold. It's really, really, really chilly. It feels like February because we came in February it's last year. It's a little bit warmer it, than that. But and yeah. it feels a lot like that. Well, the difference is the sun's out and there's cars here. Whenever we were here <laughs> in February last year, it was like overcast and foggy the entire time we were here. It looked like, like doomsday or something. It was so crazy and there was nobody here. It was like a ghost town. It's so odd, but it's a beautiful day. It's just chilly and it's super, super busy. You can see all the traffic. All right, we got coconut shrimp, regular fried shrimp, and oh, where'd it go? <laughs> oh, popcorn shrimp on the kids now. I feel like Bubba Gump here. I know. Coconut shrimp, fried shrimp, popcorn shrimp. All right, we're walking down to the beach for the first time, and we forgot our camera in the room, so this on Jared's phone. Doing the best we can. Ah! We always get so excited when our feet touch sand for the first time. It's actually a little chilly out here. We had to go get our jackets. That's why we don't have our camera. We went cold sand. <gasps> <laughs> cold, cold sand. <laughs> and it's like May 7th. Yeah. Uh, this is definitely the coldest we've ever felt it be in May. And we can say that very truthfully because, because we've been to Perdido in May. Well, we've been to the beach every single year since we've been married. Yeah. In May. Such a beautiful like pink over the sunset, like where the line is. Over the sunset. <laughs> it's pretty over the ocean. Like where the sun is setting is what I mean. I say stuff like that daily. Daddy, we're at the beach for the first time. Aww. <laughs> first trip to the beach. First trip to the beach. What if you, I could just always say, feel I'm going, woo! <laughs> then... Like he's already a beach baby. His nursery is going to be like sailboats in the ocean. Um, like super nautical, but also like beachy and sailboaty. It's not just like anchors and like the captain's wheel and stuff like that. <laughs> it's just gonna be super soft, not like a bunch of navy blue and like crisp white. I like pastel colors, but it's gonna be kind of ocean themed. Hey y'all, okay, so it is the next day. We're just gonna kind of film little pieces of every day. And yesterday was really like Copy. two clips because we just got here. When we first get here, we really like to just unpack and unwind because every time we come to the beach, it's right after our work weekends for Jared. We just woke up super late because <laughs> we traveled all day yesterday. We're about to go to get my favorite shrimp, Jared's favorite shrimp in Olive Grove Shores and it's from the Hangout. They have the best fried shrimp and they open in like five minutes. We can actually walk there from where we're at, but I want to get there like really fast. <laughs> Is it today? It's the first day that they're opening back up in the last like two months, so it's gonna be busy. We're about to go get this shrimp. Then we're gonna come back, get all of our beach stuff, and go hang out on the beach the rest of the day. How'd you sleep last night? Like a rock. That bed's so comfy. Yes. I have a king size bed, and it's super comfy. I've been eating candy, <laughs> but um, anyways, the bed is super super comfy. And this bed spray that they have on it is so soft and it's really thin, so it's not like heavy. And we woke up this morning and the, o the ocean is just right out here. And the waves are crazy this morning. They are so high. I've never seen them this high at Gulf Shores ever. I guess the wind's really intense out there. Somebody's flying a kite, but it's getting busy. But I'm worried about the food more than like being on the beach right now. <laughs> I'm pregnant, I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> This is our view when you walk out of our room of the whole, I don't know what this is, but it's a lot of seeing. There's a lot of land out there. It is so windy, but we've made it to the hangout. We're about to walk up and place our order. They're only doing two orders still, but we're so excited for it. So I can't stand the fact that she's actually getting this room. All right, it's a little while later and Jared is already down at the beach. We ate our shrimp for some reason. I think it's because maybe this was the first day that they were open back up for like two months. It just wasn't really that good. And I'm also, I have a lot of food aversions. Jared liked it and I hated it. And I was so sad that I didn't like the hangout shrimp because they're what I crave when I'm home in Louisiana. I want to come to Alabama and eat <laughs> the hangout shrimp. So I was really sad that I actually didn't want them this time. But Jared, <laughs> he's all set up. He's so sweet. He always goes down 
and sets up. He's right there. <laughs> He's sitting in a little chair right there. <laughs> he always goes down and sets up the chairs for us so I don't have to and it's just so sweet that he goes and sets up all the beach stuff. But I'm trying to pack everything that we need so we don't have to come back up here. <laughs> These are the drinks that we brought. We got ketchup because a lot of the restaurants here use like French's ketchup and it's disgusting. And we are Heinz family. Heinz family. Heinz ketchup all the way. It's There's such a difference. So we just got water, Gatorade, more Gatorade. Jared got a six pack of Land Shark and I get the little Starbucks drinks. So Jared wants one of these and I want to try the, this is the new strawberry watermelon flavor of Gatorade and I've heard so much about it. My friend Tiffany is like obsessed with it. So I'm gonna get one of these. I'm also bringing two packs of sunflower seeds. We got some oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> Jared brought his tea. We have some grapefruit, some sugar for Jared's coffee. And we brought our own bread from home and we actually found like four things of, there's one in the car, but we found four more things of hand sanitizer at Walmart yesterday. And it's from the Hello Bella brand. This was the brand of prenatal vitamins that I started taking when I first got pregnant. And then my body hated them. I'm going to get, we have some like vegan brownies and some gluten-free. I think these, I don't know if these are vegan, but these are vegan brownies. And these are gluten-free little cinnamon cookies. And let's see, I'm trying to think what Jared's going to want as a snack. We also have the Ritz crackers, so I'm probably going to get a couple of these. Okay, now I've got it all together. I can actually tell you what we're going to bring down to the beach. Some water, Gatorade, one beer for Jared, um, two applesauce to go, two things of crackers, and two things of sunflower seeds. And that's about it. And we just have two towels and a couple things of sunscreen. And that's it. I'm just going to put all of our snacks in this little bag. I got it at TJ Maxx right before we left. And it's got like a waterproof pouch on the front so you can pop your phone in it. We had a couple hours at the beach and then it started to rain so we came back up and took a shower and I don't know if it's supposed to keep raining. It doesn't really look like it's raining. There's people down there now but pretty much everybody brought their stuff up and the beach is pretty clear now. But we are about to go back to the shrimp basket because we were so disappointed with the hangout and the shrimp basket was really good yesterday. Beach food is really expensive and so you don't want to waste your money on like risk a lot of times. That's how we feel. So we know that we like the shrimp basket. We know that it's good every single time. So we're going to go back there and get something to eat. I don't know if Jared's going to eat. I still pretty much need to eat. It's four o'clock and I still haven't eaten anything all day except for like sunflower seeds I think. My hair is still wet. I need to brush it but we're gonna go back to the shrimp basket and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys I forgot the camera in the car again so you're on the phone. Man my face is so sunburned. We're done with the shrimp basket and now we are going to an ice cream place called Matt's and there's two of them like an eighth of a mile down the road. They're so close. And Jared says, Matt's, Matt's. Matt's, Matt's. <laughs> so we're going to get some ice cream. <laughs> okay, hey guys. So it is nighttime now. We are back, back in our room. And I'm sure you're now looking at me like, oh my God, what did you do? I'm in my nightgown. <laughs> because I cannot wear anything else. I am so sunburned. I think we were out for maybe, I don't know, like three hours in the sun, like not bad. And I, it was cold outside. So I didn't even think about it. And I did not put on sunscreen like an absolute idiot. And I've heard that pregnant people burn easier. And I don't usually ever burn at the beach, even if I don't wear sunscreen, which I usually always do. But I didn't put on sunscreen because the one that we got was super, super greasy. It was one of the spray ones that is really, really greasy. And so I was like, I am not putting that on. Well, dumb me i can wash off greasy sunscreen i can't wash off a painful sunburn i've taken a cold bath like where i just laid in cold water i'm drinking some really cold water i'm trying to drink like three of these jared has gone to walgreens to get me some like dermaplast and aloe <laughs> And I got some stuff by like beach bum to spray on me that didn't work and it was just super greasy So I took a bath to get it off. I don't like greasy stuff on my skin. It drives me crazy But we did get some more sunscreen for tomorrow and we got the banana boat light as air It says it absorbs quickly and it's non-greasy So 
I don't know <laughs> what good it'll do tomorrow, but I cannot let this get any worse. We didn't do much after we went and got ice cream, but we did go into the store. It's called G's Louise. <laughs> it's super cute. And um, I got a dress. Jerry got up like a button up shirt, but I got this dress. Oh, I was reading my Jesus calling for today. But I got this little like, it's like a grayish blue. It looks gray on camera, but it's like a grayish blue and it has kind of smaller cheetah print on it and it's perfect for pregnancy because it's almost like a maternity dress because it's got this like elastic line and so you can grow and all my clothes are already so tight and it is so painful almost to even wear like leggings and stuff and so I figured this would be perfect for tomorrow. I'm sunburned and I just want something super comfy so I'm gonna throw this in the wash machine and I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. So I got this there and Jared got button-up shirt. It's just like a like a really light pastel green and it's just a button-up long sleeve shirt. It's got a little turtle on it. It's by the brand Simply Southern and mine is by the brand Bombo. I've never heard of that before but it is a super super soft dress. Hey y'all it is the next day. It's about 12 o'clock which means it's time to go down to the beach finally. I went down this morning early got our place set up to where we have like a prime beachfront location. Brett made a couple of awesome grilled cheeses just now so we have some full bellies. Now we're ready to go spend the day at the beach. If you saw yesterday or last night I think when Brett probably left off. She is burnt like a crispy piece of toast this morning. <laughs> I'm very darn burnt. definitely lathered up in sunscreen today. I know. It's it looks on. like an absolute lobster. <laughs> they say that pregnant women burn easier than not pregnant women. I don't know. I've never heard that before. But my, when our friend was like, make sure you wear sunscreen. Apparently like, it's oh, true. Don't worry, I don't have burn. <laughs> But well. <laughs> now that I'm getting older, I just want to wear sunscreen whether I burn or not. Because I, you know, I take care of my skin. But yesterday, I don't know. I had a lapse of judgment and I was like, yeah, that's not great. Pregnancy me. brain. Idiot, idiot. I'm so dumb. But, uh, everything's set up. We just had lunch. Everything's down there. All we gotta do is walk down, sit, relax, and chill for the rest of the day. And we actually decided to add another night to our stay. Originally, we were just gonna come back on Mother's Day, which would be tomorrow, but we didn't have anything else going on, so we decided to stay an extra night. So we don't have to leave till Monday now. <laughs> you ready, Britt? Yes, I'm ready to get under that umbrella. <laughs> I bet. I'm not gonna let this untouch. We only had one umbrella yesterday, but today we were like, nope, we need definitely need both of them. <laughs> I'm gonna need this. Jared's going, please don't get that sand all over me. Jared's going to get into the water. I think he's absolutely crazy because it is freezing. <laughs> freezing doesn't even like, it's like if you took the ocean and you put it in a freezer and you took it out and it's just unthawed from being ice. That's what. I've never been to the beach and not been to the water though, so I'm not gonna start now. But that, that is so cold, Jared. It is so cold. I can't believe any of these people are even in it. It is so cold. I've been in February and April before. I think I'll be okay. Okay, well, I'll just watch right here under my blanket. Okay, bye. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I do that every time. You got your phone in your pocket? The phone is right here. Okay. We have a little setup. Jerry's got a chair. We've got an umbrella. I have an umbrella. We've got our ice chest. we got our Disney cups with water in them. Okay. It's crazy, crazy. Man, I don't know what's wrong with him. He has this thing where he just cannot go to the beach without getting in the water at least one time. He just looked back at me like, you were right. There's a mannequin head on a stick. Like hairdressers of the Caribbean. Oh my, uh-uh. No, 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 Jared. He's the only one out there. He would stay out there all day, just like that. And then when you get him with a snorkel, oh my gosh, Scuba Steve comes out. Well, how was that? Not too bad. Obviously, when you first get in, it's a shock. But once you get, once I got out there, it felt normal. I felt like a weirdo out there by myself. So. You were definitely out there by yourself. <laughs> All right, so I thought I'd just kind of show y'all our basic beach setup that we have going. We kind of usually keep the same setup no matter where we go, but this is kind of what we've got going right now. Bert and I both got an umbrella. I got mine folded up right now, but we each have an umbrella that matches our beach chair. We have our cooler that we bring everywhere with us now in the middle. And these little tables right here, 
have been so cool to have ever since Britt ordered them. She got them on Amazon a couple years ago. We each have one. We usually keep them like right there and right there. Yeah. I've been using it as a foot. Brace and putting our feet up on it, but usually these are so good about like keeping your phone or your drinks or whatever just right there beside you. Yeah, and they don't get sand on them. And we got our bag of like Mary Poppins bag of like everything in there. It just keeps going and going and going. Do I still look so bad? No, you don't look as bad. No. You look like it's like the middle of December right now or something. It's well, I'm sunburned and so yeah. Cold that's making me so cold. And the wind is actually pretty cold. It is actually pretty cold. You're right. I'm about to give me some chips too. Oh, I hear a puppy. I don't know where I hear it though. Oh, over there. How oh, I see it's tail. All right, we are out of the sun. We have showered and we are heading back down to get something to eat. I'm not really sure where we're gonna go. I think that we're actually gonna try to give the hangout one more try. We really did not like it the other day, but we've never had bad food from there. So maybe it was just cause it was their first day that they were opening back up. They were like, getting back in the swing of things and we have our own ketchup we're breaking our own ketchup because their ketchup tastes horrible it's like ruined or something we're bringing our own ketchup um but we'll just see and if it's not good then we'll probably go to the shrimp basket because it never fails ever All right, so we just got our food from the hangout and Brett got the popcorn shrimp and it literally See, goes with popcorn. And it, yeah, <laughs> in a bag of popcorn, we're gonna throw it away there. The popcorn shrimp is what I usually get when I'm here. They don't ever give me enough in the kids menu and they don't have a popcorn shrimp on the regular one. And so I asked her yesterday, I was like, are the popcorn shrimp in the regular shrimp basket the same? She was like, no, the popcorn ones are smaller. These are the same exact shrimp. I just ordered two kids And I got the mushroom Swiss burger and fries. It's really good. If you've ever gotten the mushroom Swiss burger at Chili's, it tastes pretty much the same as that, which I always love. And we just found a little seat here in front of the beach. And we're eating our food. This could be my view every takeout. <laughs> I went there for restaurants ever open back up for day, like dine in. Yeah, seriously. This is doable. Hang out, seat, <laughs> beach. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. We just finished eating and we came to Ron John's Surf Shop. If you've watched our channel for a long time, then you know that I always wear heart shaped sunglasses. It's just <laughs> kind of like my signature sunglass. This is and where it all this started. Is where it all started was here and they broke. And so every time we're here, I always run in here and look for new heart sunglasses. <laughs> foods since we've been on vacation that we wanted to try something a little healthier so we're going to picnic beach they have a lot of healthier things especially smoothies and Brett loves smoothies right now while she's pregnant to be able to get some fruits and veggies so we're gonna try this for the first time this place looks really cool they have like uh, a lot of barbecue stuff too and salads but we're gonna be here for the smoothies we're gonna try them out get you a smoothie yeah I got a strawberry banana smoothie Mine, we called it the Bahama punch it was actually Bama punch actually, it you know wasn't even punch. It, was Bahama. it was Bama breeze <laughs> we can't get it right we were like we'll have a Bahama breeze she was like the, the Bama breeze and we we're like, like yep yeah. that makes more sense since we are in Alabama don't feel I'm scared for you to film it because I'm still in a grumpy mood. So we're back in our room and we're sitting on our super bright coral bed spread. And Jerry got me a happy from, I'm guessing, Ron John Surf Shop. Yeah, I was in line. I saw something and I thought you might like it. And you weren't with me, so I was like, oh, this is going to be like a little happy I can get you. Okay. It's definitely nothing special, but. Well, let me be the judge of that. 
Lucky little Norwal. Is it open? Yeah, open it up. I was like, I love the box. <laughs> we love Norwals because of Elf. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. You have to read the box. A lucky little Norwal to watch over you, bring in good luck and protection the whole day through. Carry her in your pocket or sit her in your room. You'll feel her love and happiness and good luck will follow you. I love it so much. That is, that is something special. What are you talking about? So you about? can keep it. I figured since our baby's going to have a nautical theme, you can keep it in your office and then whenever we have a baby room, you can move it to his room. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so it's really dark in here. Y'all probably can't see anything. I love him. Her. Her. <laughs> Everything's a him to me lately. I know. Hey, dear. It's our last day. Yeah, it's oh, it's like, not really our last day. It's like leaving day. Like our day is over. Look how beautiful the water is. Today. It is really, really pretty today. So we didn't do the best job at vlogging while we're here, but. It's really hard to it vlog at the beach. It's so unnatural for us to vlog at the beach just because we're so used to being here. Well, we don't do anything. Yeah, we know. wake up, we go sit yeah, on the beach. We wake up, we go sit on the beach. Like, that's all we do. And we haven't been able to, like, really go into restaurants or do anything yeah. because everything's been closed. Today's actually the first day that restaurants truly open back in Alabama. Like, Alabama is, like, fully opened as of... What's today? To May 11th? It's so perfect today. That is as pretty as I've ever seen Gulf Shores water. Uh, Gulf Shores water is usually brown. <laughs> and it is blue and green today. It is beautiful. It looks a lot like Perdido Key, which is just down there. There's there's Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Perdido Key, then Pensacola. Oh, we love Destin. It's just a lot more expensive to stay in Destin. And it's an extra like hour and a half drive yeah. there is a restaurant i don't know if we talked about that but there's like this is our hotel our condo whatever this thing's called and right that's our pier to go to the beach and that's a restaurant we haven't been there we don't really like their menu a whole lot but if you weren't picky like we were that'd be a great place to just stay and go walk down and get something to eat you don't have to get in your car and you can literally take it and eat it on the beach it's pretty cool it's called sea and suds what's the name of this condo sea wind sea wind condominiums is where we're staying right now. All right, we're all packed up. Goodbye beach. We've got everything on the cart. Jared's clearing out the rest of what is in the refrigerator. I think we just have like cheese and ketchup and strawberries. I should probably eat those. Now we've got all of our stuff loaded on this cart. It's very full of Bear Bradley. <laughs> I didn't realize how much Bear Bradley I have until I go to pack. And I'm like, whoa. The rest of our Gatorade and our aloe. I folded all the towels. I don't even think I gave them a tour of like our condo. It's definitely lived in at this point, but when you walk in the front door, there's like a cute little sign, a nice little, I love that, so homey. And then you first walk in and there's a bedroom over here, a TV and a bunk bed, which is great if you've got kids. We don't, but me and Jared definitely still laid on it. Okay, so you come out of that room and then there's another room right here and it's pretty nice i actually like the furniture and the decorations of this room better but it's just like light white and light blue it's really homey and really beachy i love this furniture we need to remember it because when we go to look for furniture this is basically exactly what i want in our room and there's this odd bird in the corner <laughs> i'm not really sure what kind of bird is that jared and there's a really nice closet in here. We like to actually hang our stuff up and put our suitcases up. So we love when we have a closet. There's a bathroom that you can go in this way or you can go in this way. So it's like the community bathroom, I guess. And it's just got a really long like counter, one sink. It would make sense if it had another sink right there because there's so much counter space. And we washed all the towels just because, I don't know, I'm weird. And I was like, I'll just wash them. So we washed and folded all the towels. And that's it, it's just got a potty in a bath and shower. A super cute shower curtain. I love starfish and it's decorated pretty cute. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I haven't done a room tour in a long time, Jared. And it says, relax, you're on beach time. This is probably my favorite part is the dang laundry room. This is so big. I hate when you have like a little closet you gotta do laundry in. Like me and Jared got to come in here and do the laundry together. This is all we forgot to wash. But this is so hot in here because that dryer. Oh, what kind of dryer is this? A Kenmore. My gosh, that is the hottest dryer we have ever, ever used. When you walk in here and you've got the kitchen, it's a pretty big kitchen. It's got all the stuff that you need, like pans and utensils and cups and stuff. And a really nice refrigerator. It's got a toaster, a coffee maker. And then everything from here back is tile. 
And the thing we really like is that when you go into the living room, it's got hardwood or like laminate wood. And it's really nice. You've got a dining table, two couches, a really big TV, and even you've got game boards and stuff. So that's really fun if you come with the family. Me and Jared are going to play Chinese checkers, but we forgot. You've got two couches. The walls are really pretty and blue. Me and Jared do not like staying in condos at the beach when they're like burgundy and dark. We like for them to feel like they're beachy. And then there's a balcony in the living room and then off the living room is the master which has a balcony and a view of the ocean too and it's got a king bed two really big nightstands me and jared love having nightstands because we both drink water at night and so it's nice to have two nightstands on both sides a dresser we love having a dresser because we unpack when we get anywhere there is a really big closet which is nice because we can just like keep all of our stuff in here like even when we have dirty clothes and we need to wash them we just throw them in the corner and then we wash them at the end of the day and then a really big bathroom in the master bath we, like i said we washed all the, all the towels um they might wash them again but i don't know but we washed all the towels she's got a shower regular stuff a closet and that's it jared loves this bedspread it is so soft we tried to find a tag on it but we couldn't and then our balcony connects it's like the same balcony that goes to the living room and there's like a lounger and then two set of adirondack chairs which these are my favorite chairs to sit in they're so comfy and they're so beachy so we sat out here a bunch and enjoyed the view and we're so sad to tell the goodbye jared you want to come tell the beach bye with me we're right by the pool so it's probably really loud but we have a little baggie and at the souvenir shop we bought a big jug and we decided that we would fill it up with sand every place that has been um through his life beach journey his beach journey <laughs> starting with the person we went to the beach in our in the valley Right now. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. We used to do this every time we would come somewhere. I know, like, and then for we an anniversary stopped. trip. <laughs> so, but now he'll have sand from every time that he's been to the beach. Beach. Next it was time. fun. See you real soon, Beach. See you real soon. S E A, in case you didn't catch that. It's been fun. I like it. We love the beach. We feel happiest here almost than anywhere else. We love love the beach. Alright, Gulf Shores, you're fun. Thanks for having us. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching our beach vlog. Sorry they were so sporadic. Or it was probably just all one vlog, but Sorry, it probably didn't make any sense, but it's really impossible to vlog at the beach. But we tried our best. And yeah, oh, looking at the camera with my glasses. <laughs> okay. Bye, beach. Bye, y'all. We love you, bye. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.